Hey there. It's ChatGPT, your host of Fireside with ChatGPT, the podcast that explores the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. If you're enjoying the show and want to support us, there's a simple way to do it. Just hit that subscribe button on your podcast app of choice. Not only will you never miss an episode, but you'll also help us to reach more people with our content. So go ahead, hit that button, and let's explore the amazing possibilities of AI together. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fireside with ChatGPT. I'm your host, ChatGPT, and today we dive into a topic that is both crucial and fascinating, science communication. Science is the driving force behind innovation and progress in our society. It shapes our understanding of the world, from unraveling the mysteries of the universe to developing life-saving medical treatments. However, for science to have a meaningful impact, it must be effectively communicated to the public. Now, you might be thinking, why is science communication such a big deal? Well, let me paint you a picture. Imagine you're a scientist who has just made a groundbreaking discovery, an invention that could revolutionize the way we generate clean energy. But if you can't effectively communicate your findings to the world, your invention may gather dust in a lab, hidden away from those who could benefit from it the most. That's where science communication steps in. At its core, science communication is about bridging the gap between the complex world of scientific research and the general public. It's about breaking down complex concepts into digestible pieces and making science relatable, engaging, and, dare I say, fun. One of the main reasons science communication is important is that it promotes scientific literacy. By conveying scientific concepts in a way that is accessible to everyone, we empower individuals to make informed decisions about their health, the environment, and society as a whole. Whether it's understanding the basics of climate change or the importance of vaccination, science communication plays a pivotal role in shaping public opinion and behavior. But here's the challenge. Science communication isn't always a walk in the park. Scientists face a myriad of obstacles in their quest to share their knowledge with the world. One of the biggest hurdles is the rise of misinformation. In the age of the internet and social media, misinformation spreads like wildfire, making it difficult for accurate scientific information to shine through. Misinformation can take many forms. It can be the result of genuine misunderstanding, deliberate distortion, or the oversimplification of complex topics. Remember when someone claimed that eating carrots would give you superhuman night vision? While carrots are indeed good for your eyesight, they won't turn you into a nocturnal superhero. Now, imagine the challenge scientists face when dealing with much more pressing and contentious issues like climate change or vaccines. These topics often become battlegrounds where facts and opinions clash, making it even more crucial for scientists to effectively communicate their findings and dispel myths. Another challenge scientists face is the politicization of scientific issues. Certain scientific topics, such as genetically modified organisms or nuclear energy, have become highly polarized, driven by political agendas and preconceived notions. This polarization can create barriers to effective communication, as people's opinions become deeply ingrained, making it harder to change minds with scientific evidence alone. Despite these challenges, scientists and science communicators continue to rise to the occasion, finding creative ways to engage the public. They employ a variety of tools, ranging from traditional media outlets to social media platforms, podcasts, videos, infographics, and even immersive experiences like virtual reality. The goal is to captivate the audience and make them excited about science. So, the next time you stumble upon a popular science book, watch a science-themed TV show, or find yourself captivated by a science YouTube channel, remember that science communication is at work, bringing the wonders of the universe to your fingertips. That concludes part one of our episode on science communication. 
Stay tuned for part two, where we delve deeper into the challenges scientists face and the strategies they employ to combat misinformation. Until then, keep your scientific curiosity burning bright. Welcome back to Fireside with ChatGPT. In part one, we discussed the importance of science communication and touched upon some of the challenges scientists face. In part two, we're going to dive deeper into those challenges and explore the strategies scientists employ to combat misinformation. As we mentioned earlier, misinformation is a formidable foe in the realm of science communication. It spreads like a virus, infecting the minds of the public and distorting their understanding of scientific concepts. But fear not. Scientists have some tricks up their sleeves to tackle this challenge. One effective strategy is to promote critical thinking skills. By encouraging individuals to question the information they encounter, scientists empower the public to distinguish between reliable sources and dubious claims. For example, let's say you come across an article claiming that drinking a cup of olive oil every day will make you immortal. While olive oil has its health benefits, achieving immortality is a bit of a stretch. Scientists also utilize the power of storytelling. Humans are hardwired to respond to narratives, and scientists capitalize on this by weaving captivating stories around their research. By connecting with the audience on an emotional level, scientists can enhance their message's impact and make it more memorable. After all, who wouldn't be fascinated by the story of how a scientist discovered a new species of deep-sea creature that glows in the dark? Visual aids play a significant role in science communication as well. Complex scientific concepts can be made more accessible through the use of visuals like infographics, diagrams, and animations. These visual representations simplify information and allow the audience to grasp complex ideas at a glance. Remember those intricate charts you've seen explaining the structure of the atom or the process of photosynthesis? Visuals like those are the unsung heroes of science communication. Another challenge scientists face is the lack of public trust in science. Skepticism is healthy, but when it transforms into widespread distrust, it becomes a barrier to effective communication. To bridge this gap, scientists strive to establish trust by being transparent about their methods, data, and potential biases. They also actively engage with the public, holding open discussions, participating in public forums, and addressing concerns head-on. This openness fosters a sense of credibility and helps build a stronger bond between scientists and the public. The art of science communication extends beyond individual scientists. It involves collaborations between scientists, journalists, and communicators. These partnerships are crucial for ensuring accurate and accessible reporting of scientific discoveries. Science journalists play a pivotal role in translating complex research papers into digestible news stories, making them relatable and engaging for a wider audience. They are the intermediaries, bridging the gap between the scientific community and the public. Science communicators also contribute by acting as science translators. They possess the unique ability to distill complex jargon into everyday language, making science accessible to non-experts. Think of them as linguistic superheroes, capable of breaking down scientific concepts into bite-sized pieces that anyone can understand. In the face of misinformation and the politicization of scientific issues, scientists and communicators are arming themselves with new tools and approaches. Social media platforms have become powerful tools for science communication, allowing scientists to engage directly with the public, share their research, and debunk myths in real time. Podcasts, like ours, have become a popular medium for discussing scientific topics, providing an informal and engaging space for dialogue. To overcome the challenges of the digital age, some scientists have embraced creative methods such as gamification and virtual reality. These immersive experiences not only educate but also captivate the audience, offering interactive and memorable encounters with scientific concepts. Picture yourself exploring the wonders of the human body through a virtual reality tour or solving a series of puzzles to understand the intricacies of climate change. Fun and engaging experiences like these leave a lasting impression and spark curiosity in the minds of the public. 
Furthermore, scientists are increasingly recognizing the importance of diversity and inclusivity in science communication. They strive to ensure that voices from underrepresented communities are heard and that science is communicated in a culturally sensitive manner. By embracing diverse perspectives, scientists can create a more inclusive and equitable scientific narrative that resonates with a wider range of people. Now, let's not forget about humor. Injecting a touch of levity into science communication can be a powerful tool to captivate the audience. Whether it's through clever puns, funny anecdotes, or relatable pop culture references, humor can break down barriers, make complex concepts more approachable, and create a positive association with science. For instance, consider the brilliant physicist Richard Feynman, known for his humorous and relatable explanations of complex physics concepts. Feynman had a knack for using everyday examples, such as explaining the movement of atoms by comparing it to a game of billiards. His approach made physics less intimidating and more relatable to a broader audience. In the battle against misinformation and the challenges of effective science communication, scientists are embracing creativity, collaboration, transparency, and a touch of humor. They are adapting to new technologies and platforms, harnessing the power of visuals and storytelling, and striving for inclusivity and diversity. But science communication is not a one-way street. It requires an active and engaged audience. As consumers of scientific information, we must also play our part. We can seek out reputable sources, fact-check information before sharing it, and remain open to revising our beliefs in the face of compelling scientific evidence. So, as we wrap up part two of our episode on science communication, remember that it's a shared responsibility. By working together, scientists, communicators, and the public can build a society that values and understands the power of science, ultimately shaping a future where evidence-based decision-making is the norm. Stay tuned for part three, where we'll explore some inspiring examples of successful science communication initiatives and discuss the potential future trends in this exciting field. Until then, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep spreading the wonders of science with a smile. Welcome back to the final part of today's episode of Fireside with ChatGPT. In parts 1 and 2, we explored the importance of science communication, the challenges scientists face, and the strategies they employ. Now, in part 3, let's delve into some inspiring examples of successful science communication initiatives and discuss the potential future trends in this dynamic field. One remarkable example of effective science communication is the Bill Nye The Science Guy television show from the 1990s. Bill Nye, with his quirky personality and captivating demonstrations, made science accessible and entertaining for a whole generation. His catchy theme song and memorable catchphrases like science rules became iconic, embedding scientific curiosity in the hearts of countless viewers. Another inspiring initiative is the Science Friday radio program and podcast. It has been engaging audiences for decades, featuring interviews with leading scientists, discussions on current scientific topics, and entertaining segments like the SciArt Sound Off. By combining informative content with a sprinkle of entertainment, Science Friday has become a beloved platform for science enthusiasts of all ages. Social media platforms have also proven to be powerful tools for science communication. Take the Twitter account of NASA's Curiosity rover, for example. With its witty and humorous tweets, the rover has amassed a massive following and transformed an extraterrestrial mission into an interactive and engaging experience for millions of people worldwide. Who knew that a rover on Mars could have such a great sense of humor? Looking to the future, we can expect science communication to evolve further, embracing emerging technologies and innovative approaches. Virtual reality and augmented reality have the potential to revolutionize science communication by creating immersive experiences. Imagine being able to explore the depths of the ocean or travel back in time to witness historic scientific discoveries firsthand, all from the comfort of your own home. Artificial intelligence also has a role to play in the future of science communication. Chatbots and virtual assistants, like me, can provide instant access to scientific information and answer questions in real time. 
By leveraging AI, scientists can scale up their communication efforts and reach even larger audiences, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of science. Furthermore, interdisciplinary collaborations will continue to shape the landscape of science communication. When scientists team up with artists, journalists, educators, and other professionals, they can create innovative and engaging experiences that blend the boundaries between science and other fields. Combining art, storytelling, and science can captivate audiences in new and unexpected ways, fostering curiosity and sparking a passion for exploration. Inclusivity and diversity will also take center stage in science communication. Efforts to amplify underrepresented voices and promote equity in scientific narratives will become increasingly important. Science communicators will strive to make science accessible to people of different backgrounds, cultures, and abilities, ensuring that everyone feels welcome and empowered to participate in the scientific dialogue. As we look ahead, it is important to remember that science communication is a dynamic and ever-evolving field. The challenges may shift, and new ones may arise, but the mission remains the same, to bridge the gap between science and society, inspiring curiosity and enabling informed decision-making. So, whether it's through traditional media, podcasts, social media, immersive technologies, or yet-to-be-invented platforms, science communication will continue to ignite the spark of wonder and curiosity within all of us. And with that, we conclude today's episode on science communication. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay curious, stay engaged, and together, let's embrace the incredible world of science. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the world of science communication on today's episode of Fireside with ChatGPT. We explored the importance of communicating science, the challenges scientists face, and the strategies they employ to overcome them. Science communication plays a vital role in promoting scientific literacy, combating misinformation, and fostering a deeper understanding of the world around us. From breaking down complex concepts to utilizing storytelling, visuals, and humor, scientists and communicators are working tirelessly to engage and inspire the public. As we wrap up, we want to express our gratitude for your support. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to our podcast on your preferred platform. Your support allows us to continue bringing you informative and entertaining discussions on the role of artificial intelligence in various fields. We also encourage you to rate and review our podcast. Your feedback helps us improve and reach a wider audience, ensuring that more people can join the conversation and explore the fascinating world of science and innovation. Remember, the journey of science communication doesn't end here. Stay curious, seek reliable sources of information, and engage in conversations about science. By working together, we can create a society that appreciates and embraces the wonders of science, making informed decisions and shaping a brighter future. Thank you for joining us today on Fireside with ChatGPT. Until next time, keep questioning, Keep learning and keep fueling your curiosity with the power of knowledge.